पुन पुना का नया भाई है तू पुणे का नया भाई है मैं पहले से हिंदुस्तान का भाई हूँ so today i'm checking out the BenQ X1300i this is the world's first 4 led gaming projector giving you 1080p hdr projection featuring android tv and offers an incredible home cinematic experience now before we move on black friday is coming up you have an opportunity to grab this gaming beast for a cheaper price and links with more details in the description box below so most of you will know my daily driver projector behind me is the BenQ TH585 and I've been using it for a very long time. I absolutely love this projector and you have probably seen this in many of my recent projector videos. So without any further ado, let's just get it all out of the box and see what it looks like. So inside the box we have a quick start guide and two AAA batteries. That's going to be for the remote control. We've got a European power cable. We've got what looks like a streaming stick. It says HDMI media streaming. It looks like a Fire TV stick, but it's actually the BenQ powered by Android TV. And you're also getting a handy remote control. And if we have a closer look, you've got the Google Assistant button. So there is a built-in microphone. You've got shortcut to prime video, volume control, and you even have a dedicated button for the projector menu. So that's going to be quite useful. I can see different modes here, gaming modes, and even a casting button. So we will be testing all of that out. And last but certainly not least, the projector itself. And as you can see, it's quite a big projector. All right, I'm just going to quickly run through the specs. So this is a four LED video projector. So that means you have four LED projector modules inside one unit. So it's supposed to give you an ultra bright image um, and makes it usable in the daytime. So sounds good on paper. I can't wait to test it. LED lamp life is 30,000 hours. So if you were to use this projector five hours every single day, you can get over 15 years of usage. So LED lamp life 30,000 hours is a lot. Brightness 3,000 ANSI lumens. This is a native 1080p projector supporting HDR. The contrast ratio is 500,000 to one. You have Android TV OS, as I mentioned, and that's gonna be on the TV stick. This does support 2D keystone correction. Maximum optimal screen size is 150 inches. This supports HDMI version 2.0B. So technically this has the capability of projecting up to 4K HDR, but that is gonna be a blown up image from a native 1080p resolution. We're gonna see how that looks, aren't we? And you have two times five watt Trivolo stereo speakers giving you virtual stereo surround sound. I am super excited to test out a new BenQ projector, especially a projector that's been designed for gaming. You've got built-in enhanced gaming modes. This will give you an 8.3 millisecond of response time when playing at 120 hertz. You've got dynamic black technology, auto color collaboration. You've got game maestro technology, which brings you low latency and optimized visuals and audio, especially for RPGs, shooters, and sports games. You've got dedicated gaming modes for various different game genres as well. This does support wireless casting and you can actually wirelessly cast Netflix. Now on the front, you can see your lens. Um, there's no lens cover as such, but it says there, entertainment gaming projector. BenQ logo on the front. And if I just, yeah, you've got some size and weight to this thing. And on the top, you can see it says Game Maestro. So this is quite interesting. On the side of the projector, we have all our navigational controls, which are usually on the top of the projector. And right next to the controls, you have zoom control and focus adjustment dials. So again, that's quite different. Lots of ventilation. You can almost see some of the components at the bottom there. Um, that could be a cooling fan on that side. So on the back, we have power socket. It looks like the European connection is going to fit in there. The UK plug they gave me, I can't see, me, I can't see how I'm going to plug this in. So that could have been an error. Anyway, we've got Kensington lock. You've got superior sound by Trivolo. So this projector also has two times five watt speakers built in. We've got two HDMI inputs, so you can hook up your favorite game console, TV box, Fire TV stick, or even the BenQ stick um, that comes with this package. Now over here you can see your infrared for the remote control. On top of that, you've got something that says 12 watt trigger. You've got a USB port, SBDIF. You've got an RS-232 and an audio out. So that is basically all your ports. I can actually see two speaker grills there. And on this side of the projector, we have more vents at the bottom. And that is pretty much it. That will bring us back to the front. So here is the bottom of the projector. You do have two round dives that you can turn and that will give you some elevation. 
You also have over here three tripod threads. Um, it gives you the measurements M4 times 8 millimeter. All right, quickly show you how to install the HDMI dongle into the unit. So you're not just plugging it into the back. You actually have to open the front cover. So there are two screws on the back. You need to open those two screws. And once you take off those two screws, you're simply sliding downwards and lifting that cover off. If I just spin the projector around, you will see a section over here. It says HDMI 3 ATV, as in Android TV. So you can see there is an HDMI port there. Before you plug it in, plug in the micro USB power source, like so, and then just connect it to the HDMI port. And that is it. So nothing to screw down, that is secure. Sliding the lid back on, very easy. And then you replace the two screws. So that's how you install the Android TV dongle inside the unit. Now that has made me curious, would it work the same way if I plugged in a Fire TV stick? I think I will have to test that before the end of this video, so stay tuned. So I'm gonna get this all set up with my game console and we are gonna find out exactly how good it really is. I'll be right back. All right, projector is powered on and ready to go. The first thing we're gonna do is test out that fan noise. So here is my sound meter. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect around 37 to 38 decibels of fan noise. And if we move away one meter, you can expect around 35 to 36 decibels of fan noise. So we are all set up. The projector is about three meters away from the wall in front of us and we are projecting around 80 inches. Now the projection is directly on a creamed colored wall. So we're not using a projection screen. This is being projected directly on wallpaper. As you can see, this is Android TV OS. So Google's official Android TV OS. And we're gonna begin with projector settings. So let's take a closer look. Picture mode is set to cinema. You can have it bright. So that's bright mode. Living room mode going to go through them show you all the differences this is game mode sports mode and back to cinema mode but you've also got user mode so you can go ahead and customize that to your own personal preference now sound mode at the bottom cinema mode music game sports user and back to cinema mode okay if we press back light source so you've got normal eco or custom 2d keystone so this is your keystone correction so you can mess around with the vertical and horizontal keystone correction um, to make sure you have a, a straight looking image. You can also enable the automatic keystone correction by keeping the OK button pressed for two seconds. All right, let's come out of that. you got Game Maestro. So Game Maestro right now is switched off. Um, but if I switch it on just to show you what happens, and we're not actually playing a game, but I just want to show you the options. And then we'll toggle through when I start a game as well. You've got information. So detected resolution 2160p at 60 hertz. So that is 4K60. The source is HDMI 3. So that's the Android TV um, dongle that we've attached. Picture mode game, light source, 3D format, uh, color system, dynamic range, um, light source, usage time, and so on and so forth. And then you've got menu type. You can have basic or advanced. So in advanced menu, you can fine tune each mode. So you can turn the brightness up, you can fine tune it all, including the advanced color settings. Same with audio, dynamic stereo enhancement, display. We have got 3D support, so you can watch your 3D movies. Installation, projector, positioning, 2D keystone, auto keystone, test pattern, high altitude, 12 watt trigger and the board rate. So here is some system information under advanced. And then you've got your info page and we're just going to leave it on advance and go back. So a lot of customization options there for you to get the best experience possible from this projector. Now let's head over to the Android settings. I want to quickly check out the system storage. So the Android TV OS dongle has 16 gigs of internal storage from which there are nine gigs free to use. Quickly check out about. You can see that we are running Android TV OS version 9. So we're going to test out Chromecast first of all because that is one of the ways you can test if the Android TV OS is officially certified. So if I just grab my phone you can see there it says BenQ so it has found something connecting you can see the YouTube logo in the background. All right Chigs's iPhone 13 Pro is successfully connected to this device. 
So I can go ahead and play any YouTube video and it should play on the big screen. So let's just play one of my recent videos. How's it going people? Welcome to Pixel Day. Now I know your sub feed is going to be filled with hundreds of Pixel videos and the fact that you're watching this one means you're looking for an honest opinion. So it looks like this is running official Android TV OS. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick look at the apps that you get on the system. So here are all your default apps. These standard apps have been pre-installed for you. Uh, you do have access to the Play Store, the Android TV OS version of the Play Store, where you can easily install more apps, including Disney Plus and Apple TV. Um, Netflix is not available to download from the Play Store. So it looks like you're going to have to sideload Netflix if you want to install it. Otherwise, just connect up a Fire TV stick and you're good to go. Now, while we're here, we may as well test out the internal YouTube and see what sort of resolutions we can achieve. We're going to do a quick voice search. 4K video. Voice search works fine. Craving something really big. But well, there's only one thing for it. Maximum 4K supported. All right, just paused it on the lizard. So we just witnessed 4K at 60 frames per second, HDR. The projection quality is outstanding. So close up on the lizard, you can see absolutely no pixelation at all. And you can see all four corners look crystal clear. This has to be one of the brightest projections I have seen in quite a long time. It almost lights up the entire room. I am going to switch on the light just to show you the difference. So the light's on. And you can still see everything. It looks exactly the same, whether the light's on or off. This projection is super bright. I'm going to switch that light back off. And this time, we're going to open our blackout curtains. So here we go. Bright day outside. Blackout curtains open. And look at that projection. That is unbelievable. Definitely the brightest projector we have experienced on the channel so far. Stunning colours, stunning contrast. And the best thing about it is everything can be fine tuned. So if you wanted to take away a bit of colour, if you wanted to add a bit of contrast, you can do that. Now let's close this curtain again. Let's just go ahead and play a few more trailers to get a better idea. 4K movie trailers. The voice search is super accurate on this. My family has been looking for this potion for a very long time. So much blood. going to quickly test out the internal Disney Plus and as you can see this does support 4k ultra HD with HDR 10 and 5.1 surround sound mocks us with her beauty what's that forgive me maturity is making me poetic <laughs> tell me you're older and thus all knowing you come on let's play I don't feel like playing Grammy come on you're my brother you have to play with me let's go chase some mice all right, so you've got a good idea of what streaming movies is like on this projector. But this projector is designed for gaming. So let's just jump straight into the gaming. We are going to connect up a PlayStation 4 first of all, and let's see how it plays. Very nice projection quality. You can clearly see the smaller icons all in focus. No pixelation at all. Just a beautiful, crisp image all the way around.
to the pit. So I've just connected the PlayStation 5 to this projector and I can't wait for some big screen PS5 gaming. You can see the picture mode is 4K at 60 Hertz and it has detected HDR. All right, just gonna begin with some Assassin's Creed Valhalla. These are all the graphical settings I'm just scrolling through. So this is with Game Maestro off, just standard settings. The Game Maestro enhances the graphics. So this is FPS mode, which I think looks really nice. The next mode is RPG. That looks good as well. That looks a bit more realistic based on what we're playing. And then we have SPG. I'm going to leave it on RPG at the moment. I do want to adjust the details to high and then we'll leave it as that. Nice. This is FPS mode. RPG. SPG. So for this game, I would leave it on RPG. That looks the best. Time to change the game. Round was on and it works. It's a good looking ball in behind. Could be. Oh, and a pure pass. Had to catch it perfectly and takes it just. Again, just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So the next console we're testing on this projector is the Nintendo Switch. And we're going to play using the GameSir T4 Mini. 
So there you have it guys, that was the BenQ XR300i, a feature packed projector designed for an incredible home cinema gaming experience. 1080p native looks great, but even 4K interpolated looks amazing. There is no pixelation at all, all you're getting is crisp looking picture quality. Movies and games look equally good, dark scenes render very nicely, the brightness and contrast are impressive, probably the best I have seen in any projector so far. The projector is so bright, you can use it in the daytime with all the lights on and it will still look impressive. You have tons of features including screen mirroring for both Android and iOS, you've got auto keystone correction, advanced projector display settings so you can tweak the colors, contrast, brightness etc. You also have tons of presets to play with for both gaming and audio too. The included Android TV OS dongle is also quite useful to have but you do have the option to connect any TV box or game console via HDMI including all your Amazon Fire TV sticks. Movies and games truly look breathtaking. My camera footage looks good but it does not do justice to how good this actually looks in person. The projection quality is flawless. Even built-in speakers are super loud and clear. So to sum this one up, here is my latest video projector chart for 2021, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest projectors. And as you can see, I have ranked the BenQ X1300i at position one on this chart, making this the best 4 LED projector I have tested on this channel so far. So a new king has been crowned. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.